I've talked about a hot take. Shout out to the Jam Team for the Super Chat. Good Lord, $50 Super Chat. Appreciate that, Jam Team. Appreciate the love on the live this morning, brother. Justin Fields balling got you excited. But I'll say this, and here's my hot take. And y'all like the video if you agree. Subscribe to the page if you agree. If you don't, do it anyway because we do a show every day. You might as well. Justin Fields, not only is the Chicago Bears franchise quarterback that we've been looking for for years. But right now, Justin Fields is the most dangerous quarterback in the NFL. I know that there's going to be people that are going to look at this video and comment on this video and, 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 and take this and say, oh, Bears fans are delusional again. Bears fans, but I'm not being delusional. That was an excellent defense that you played against yesterday. That was an excellent defense that you played against yesterday. And look at the tape. Look at the tape. There's three plays that stand out to me. There are three plays that stand out to me. The first play that really stood out to me was the rollout right to Cole Komet. Not because of the pass that Justin delivers to Cole Komet. But because of how Justin sets the play up. It's a play action play. Justin Fields fakes the handoff. When you see the play, go back and look at it. Justin has the football tucked so perfectly the defense can't see it. They all bite on Mooney. And I'll bet you everybody in here was following Mooney. How many times has Justin Fields done a handoff, a play action fake, something like that this season where you look at it? And you say, hey, who's got the ball? The defense was doing the exact same thing because they're so worried about Justin using his legs to kill him. His legs are absolutely, absolutely such a threat that they're more worried about that. So now he fakes that off. They're still biting on Justin. At first, they're on Montgomery. Then they're like, oh, snap, he's going to run. He's still got the ball. He's got the ball. He turns around, delivers a strike to Cole Komet. Touchdown. Excellent block by EQ on that. Doesn't make up for you dropping a last pass. Second play that really stood out to me. The pass to Darnell Mooney, right? Because with that, that's just that's just showing a little bit of savvy. That's showing an understanding of how I need to deceive the defense. Oh, by the way, the entire time on that, the entire time on that, there's a spy on Justin Fields, which means there's a defender that literally cannot leave Justin Fields. So that takes another defender away from the defense. That's opening things up for you defensively. Number two, second part of that, that really stood out to me. The reason that I think he's the most dangerous quarterback in the NFL. When you look at the pass to Darnell Mooney, you cannot throw a more accurate pass. That is against a Pro Bowl DB in Howard. And not only is Justin Fields standing back there waiting for the play to develop, he takes a shot as he's delivering the ball over the top. Darnell Mooney has to go up and get it, but it's in the perfect spot. That is perfect placement. That is elite level placement on a pass for those who say he's not an elite passer. He's not going to be able to pass the ball. I know only 128 yards in that game, but you know what? You've got to work with what you got. And in that moment, he still takes a shot, delivers the football into the hands of Darnell Mooney. Touchdown. So now you can't bite on the fake because if you bite on the fake right on the first play, you're in trouble because he can roll out and he can take off on you. Instead, he delivers a football and you've got one less defender that's dropping back in coverage. Oh, on the other side of that, you can't sit there and just wait for him to throw the football because guess what? The boy can throw. And then the third thing, the third thing that I look at and I say, Justin Fields right now is the most dangerous quarterback in football. Look at the play that is a broken play where he takes off and scores on a 60-yard-plus touchdown. Look at that play. 
Because now, right, you got to bring the athleticism into it. Now you got to talk about him as an athlete. Justin drops back, play breaks down, defense is trying to collapse in on him, and start. they look like they've got him. But again, the fear of him throwing the football actually adding in to him being able to take off and use his legs, vice versa, with the fear of him using his legs actually creating a fear of him throwing the football. Justin Fields literally starts to run, stops, because he thinks there's something there. Jumps to throw it. Like, I don't know what the jump was. It's like a pump fake almost. Jumps to throw. Both feet are off of the ground. Both feet are off of the ground. But that little pump fake, that little hezzy, it was an NFL hezzy. That little hezzy, the defense stops for a half a second, and Justin Fields is gone. So now you can't stand back there and bite on the play action because he might actually give it to Montgomery. Oh, by the way, Bears still have a really good running game. So he might actually give it to Montgomery. Or he's holding on to the football. Let's bite on the run. Oh, snap, we bit too hard. Now he's got to pass over the middle. Touchdown. Ah, he's going to stand back there. We'll make him throw the ball, right? Remember what they said with Mitch? Remember what they said with Mitch? Make him play quarterback. We'll make Justin play quarterback. Boom, accurate pass over the head of a top DB in the NFL. Touchdown. Okay, we'll play back. We, we won't let him play. We'll worry about the pass. We got to worry about the pass on this because he absolutely can throw it down. He just showed us he can throw the football down the field. Half a second, boom, 60-yard run. You gave me that much seconds. You gave me that much time. Touchdown. So let me ask you this. As you watch the tape, how do you defend that? How do you defend that? That's why I say right now, looking at it, and listen, there's a long way to go. I'm not naive to think that Justin Fields is better than Patrick Mahomes right now. I'm not naive to think that Justin Fields is better than Josh Allen right now. I'm not saying that to you. What I am saying is that when you look at all the things that Justin Fields is doing really, really well with minimal help, or I shouldn't say minimal help because that's diminishing a lot of the, the people that are in that building. With help that is not elite, let's say that. With help that is not elite. When I watch that, he can kill you in three different ways. If you just look at what the teams are doing, right? Like Pat Mahomes yesterday, Pat Mahomes struggles when you only rush four and you drop more people back into coverage. He struggled yesterday with that. The Titans were on that. Titans literally just don't have a quarterback that's able to make plays right now. Malik Willis is trying to figure out the NFL still. Josh Allen a little different. Josh Allen's balling right now. He played a little down yesterday, but I think he had the injury too. I didn't watch that full game. I saw that he came up a little gimpy with the elbow, but um, Josh Allen's a, a monster. Like I'm, he, he played a little better yesterday. Okay, he's a monster. I'm not. I'm not saying that Justin Fields is at their level yet. But what I'm saying is, when you look at how Justin is making plays. When you look at how Justin is getting the ball down the field, it's not Lamar Jackson-esque where he came in and it was just, hey, he's running the ball. We got to catch him. Let's sell out on the run because if he throws the ball right, that's where we can beat him. No, you can't beat Justin Fields on that, at least as he's continued to go through this offense because right now he's delivering the ball really accurately. He's delivering the ball consistently. He's putting it in a position where his receivers should be making plays, and if they were better receivers more times than not, they would be making plays. On top of that, the kid in play action is so elusive, it's crazy out here. So for those reasons, dog, I'm telling y'all right now, I know it may sound crazy. But go watch the tape. On a field that included Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. I, I throw two in there. I was I, I thought about it. I throw two in there. Tua Tungavailoa. 
Is the Tonga a tag of ILO? I, I, I don't see the end in it. I don't know how to say it. A field that included superstar level talent. Justin Fields was the best player on the field. And at the quarterback position, we have never, ever, ever been able to say that about any Chicago Bear. Put some talent around him, Ryan. The job's not done. The job's not done. There's a lot to still look at in this game, and there's a lot to still get to in this game. By the way, appreciate everybody who's tuning in and rock with us, man. We got over 200 in the building, man. Hit that like button if you haven't done so. Subscribe to the page, man. We do this show every single day, Monday through Friday. This is The Daily Show. Appreciate you guys for tuning in and rocking with us, man, and showing love on that. Justin Fields. That's my hot take. Justin Fields right now, the most dangerous quarterback in the NFL right now. Stop playing with me. 